Hello, I'm Chirag from the Local Well Pharmacy Software team. Welcome to this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more pharmacy business info. Today, we will discuss our new feature, Patient Medicine Followers. So if you see my screen, we have an account of a retail pharmacy in Ahmedabad named Total Health. In the last 30 days, the software shows they sold to 607 customers. Pharmacies have two types of customers. First, those suffering from diseases like diabetes, blood pressure, kidney failure, epilepsy, etc. We call such customers chronic diseases customers, and the repeat rate of these customers is very high. We refer to the second type as acute disease customers, dealing with issues such as stomach pain, headaches, and acidity. These customers rarely come back. Over the past 30 days, this business has served 212 new customers. Repeat customers, those who have returned in the last 30 days, are approximately 400. Now if you look at any average pharmacy business, approximately 30 to 40% of its customers are repeat customers. But if you look here, approximately 67 to 70% of its customers are repeat customers. So the reason for having more repeat customers is what we will know further in this video. For that first you have to come to the sales section. If you come to the sales section, if you click on add new sale here, suppose I select a customer here. Now if we add a product here, for example, suppose I added a product called Clonaz MD which is given for anxiety disorder. Now if I add it, you will see that as this product is added, the software is looking at the profile of this customer and saying that you should give Clonaz MD as a follow-up medicine for this product. Why should you give it? Because it is given for anxiety disorder or efficiency, and the customer will need this product again. Now the question arises when will they be needed? As you see, its molecular composition is Clonazepam 0.5 mg. The software shows the average patient consumes about 0.91 tablets daily. You can buy Clonaz MD in strips of 10 tablets. The customer bought one strip, totaling 10 tablets. Have done. Now if you multiply 10 by 0.91 then it comes out to be 9 days. So according to that if you add 9 days to today's date i 14th May then the software is showing you that the customer will need this medicine again on 24th May and accordingly the software automatically sets the reminder. Now if we choose another product here, suppose I chose a glycomic product which is given for diabetes so now if I add one strip of this as well then you will see. The software has also added glycomat here. Now glycomat includes glymperide, 1G, plus metformin, 500G. But look here, the software is showing you the composition of this product, this salt, its tablet is consumed by an average patient, 094, on a daily basis. And another thing I noticed, is that this glycomat has 15 tablets in one strip and since he has bought one strip, it means he has bought 15 tablets. If I multiply 15 by 9094, then as per the date of 14, the software itself is telling that he will need this medicine again on the 30th. Now when you save, the software will automatically add the follow-up of both these products to the customer's profile. Now when the date to give this reminder to the customer comes, the software will show you the reminder on the dashboard in this way. If you click on follow-up here, the software will take you to the follow-up section. Here, for example, if you choose a customer, Suppose I chose a Junkie Ben Hemnani customer, the software is showing you that you have to give a follow-up to him on 7th May and his two follow-ups are pending. Click on it to see their details on the right. It shows Junkie Ben Hemnani as your customer since 5th July and she's 80 years old. The software tracks her since 5th July. Below, it shows more analytics about her, like her importance. What does importance mean? It shows her future business potential. The software indicates there's a 60% probability that this customer will come back. He has visited the store 19 times and has spent a total of 5,122 rupees. On average, he visits about every 10 days and spends around 273 rupees per visit. This is the customer's data analysis. Below, the software shows their follow-ups. 
So look here, first of all it is showing you the follow up of acetylopram and clonazepam which is a product given for epilepsy. For anxiety disorder. Now the software is showing you that the average patient consumes 2 to 13 tablets of this product on a daily basis. And this schedule is of X category drug. Now look here, it is showing below that the patient had purchased 30 tablets of this product on 6th May and now when he will come back again, he will come on 20th May. On my 20, he will take 10 tablets from you, not those who buy 30 tablets. Where did it come from? This software analyzes the customer's history and tells you he bought 30 tablets last time, but next time he might buy only 10. On the right side, it shows the customer's brand. This customer bought Cetalox Fort from you. To check if this product is available, you can see it here. Click on Check Stock. The software will display substitutes for Cetalox Fort by Accenta Pharma and their stock levels. In this case, I have 110 tablets remaining. But if you don't have this product, it shows similar ones like Ziplas, Citadep, Intesis Depran, Abbots, Sechtalu. It shows the stock and expiry date of each product. The soonest expiring product is at the top. Also showing the tablet-wise price difference. Is it cheap or expensive? Here, it's about 24% more expensive. In comparison to Citalox. So in this way you can also check its stock and on the right side it is showing you how many tablets this customer has left with him today. So the software is showing that today this customer has 13 tablets left of this particular product. So in this way it is not only showing you how much the customer purchased last time, it is also recommending you that what will he purchase from you when he comes next time and he is also telling how many tablets he has left as of today. If you find the follow-up given here helpful then you can mark it helpful or else you can mark it as not helpful. So what will happen is that the next time this customer comes back to the software or if any other similar customer comes back, then the software will analyze them before giving you a recommendation next time, right? And what you can do here is like there are multiple users in your business who work on this particular follow-up section. So here every user can put their own comments, like suppose you followed up with this customer Janki Ben, but Janki Ben is not here, she has gone to Mumbai. So you can put this thing here that this customer is not in town. She is in Mumbai. By doing this you can update it here. So what will happen is that this update will come here in the name of your user, so that when someone else tries to follow up on this thing, he can see its complete history here. Right from here you can either edit this follow up or delete it. For now we will delete it. So in this way you will get all the follow ups of that customer here. To message this customer, click select all and press the WhatsApp button to send a reminder for both products. This way, you can easily follow up with existing customers. This business needs to follow up with 97 customers this week. If each customer gives you business worth 300 rupees on average, and if even just half of your customers return, you'll be making an extra 15,000 rupees every week. This significantly increases the repeat rate. Additionally, think about those loyal customers who were supposed to come but haven't shown up for some reason. So this software also tracks them. So it is showing you that there are about 6 such customers who were supposed to come to your business but due to some reason they will not come to your business. So this feature is called patient follow ups. The difference between local well and other software is that the refill reminder in other software works at the invoice level but follow up cannot work at the invoice level because suppose there is a sale in which there is a diabetic patient. If there is a drug and you have also given him an allergy drug, then the follow-up of both the drugs should be decided individually. That is why the follow-up that happens locally is at the drug level, that is, the drug happens at the molecule or salt level. And this entire system is completely automated, the user does not need to give any input in it. This is what makes our medicine follow-up system, patient medicine follow-up system very different from any other software. If you have any other questions related to this or if you want a demo in more detail on this thing, 
then you can reach out to our team anytime or you can put your questions in the comment section of this video where our team will answer them immediately. Thank you.